Hi, I am Dilda Chowdhury, uh, Director of Strategic Marketing. Today we'll be discussing about PowerGain technology and the CCPAC surface mount device package. Efficient power conversion in automotive, industrial, telecom infrastructure and cloud computing is ever so important. Needing a technology to take it to next level beyond silicon. Nexperia is the innovator and supplier of robust clip bonded packaging technology for the automotive sector for over 20 years. We would like to extend the technology to include our high voltage power gain technology. We are continuously in the process of innovating and developing a new technology for future growth in efficient high voltage, high power applications, including automotive. Part of that we are introducing our latest high voltage power gain technology in our in-house copper clip uh, packaging technology. Today, we'd like to discuss about uh, the, our, the market segment, power gain technology, the copper clip packaging technology, the technical advantages, uh, the thermal performance, the applications, and the marketing communication materials. The wide band gap market segments, uh, especially within the 650 volt area uh, has got uh, quite a wide range of application that can benefit from these wideband gap materials. Uh, not only that we bring the technology for the purpose, uh, we also bring with the highest quality standard, sub a PPM failure rate, a longevity and product efficient in size and performance. To discuss about the two part of the technology, one is the actual semiconductor technology and the second part is the packaging technology. Within the semiconductor technology, which is the GAN power technology, we are continuously improving. As you can see on the right hand side, um, every new generation is coming with significantly improved performance, improved yield by reducing the defects, so the improved specific RDS on, so that it can help a higher power density improving the switching figure of merit, so the switching losses are going lower and lower, which is by default, the power gain technology has got switching losses lower anyway. Improved design and the lower capacitances. A continued use of the cascode configuration of our technology allow a very simple to drive using standard silicon MOSFET drivers. Our devices also adds a highest a switching stability because which is quite important for a very fast switching semiconductors. The improved dynamic performances, the lower capacitance for given RDS on and the better, as a consequence, we get the better efficiency and better power density. Within the uh, scope of our innovation, uh, we continuously improve our uh, GAN fed designs and that allow higher and higher breakdown voltage uh, for a shorter um, fill plate uh, using uh, fill plate technology and that allows uh, more efficient usage of the semiconductor area. The second part is the copper clip packaging technology. We have got the copper clip expertise for robustness. We have been um, in this uh, copper clip technology for about 20 years and we are bringing this one for our high voltage technology. The one of the key benefit of the copper clip surface mount device is that because once you have got a very high uh, efficient and high performance semiconductor, complementing that one with a high performance packaging gives the best of both worlds and it brings the benefit, a desired benefit that a customer is always looking for. So we have got this uh, copper clip technology at uh, 12 by 12, uh, both a uh, top and bottom side cooling. It's a three times a lower parasitic inductance, which I will discuss in the later in the slides for lower switching losses, improved stability and the lower EMI and the high reliability against the wire bonded solution because our packages has got absolutely no wire bonding at all. The thermal performance is significantly improved on these packages and the, which means the lower thermal resistance from junction to mounting base and you also offer a TJ max of 175 degree. Not only that the device uh, within this package brings the performance, it also gives a significant manufacturability and the robustness. Flexible gold wing leads for temperature cycling, power cycling reliability 
and it also gives a robust uh, board level reliability compatible with the SMD uh, soldering, automatic optical inspection and manufacturing advantage. We are supplying high volume, high quality copper kit products uh, to the automotive industry for 20 years. And our package devices are normally off and which means that you don't need to worry about and the, in the, of the fail safe mode. So it's uh, you have got the drain, the source and the gate and because of the low voltage silicon fat, uh, it's very easy to drive. So as in the picture. The key benefits of this uh, copper clip technology, which is fundamental for uh, bringing all the benefit of the semi uh, GAN semiconductor out. This is a very compact footprint that allow you to have a very high power density, wire bond free, which means there is no wire bonding and that gives a very low inductance, flexible leads, excellent uh, board level reliability, lower thermal resistance, ultra low package resistance and the exposed lead allow easy optical inspection and easy uh, SMD manufacturing. If we just uh, compare to the industry's veteran like a 2247, uh, it's about one fifth the size it takes and, and performing better than, significantly better than that 2247. Just as I mentioned that I'll be discussing about the parasitic inductances for our package and uh, at the top it has got this CC pack, our copper clip packaging at 12 by 12 compared to the 2247 at the bottom with wire bonding. And as you can see, the uh, inductances are significantly low, like a gate inductance 1.92 compared to 8 nanohenry uh, in 2247. The uh, source inductance about 0.55 compared to almost 6 nanohenry and the drain inductance about 1.44 compared to 5 nanohenry, which gives a quite a significantly small uh, overall loop inductance that is 2.37 compared to nearly 14 uh, nanohenry. So that gives a significant improvement and benefit for the high frequency switching. We have done the thermal simulation for our GAN fat and uh, this gives about 0.173. But compared to a uh, T247, which is 0 0.7 um, centigrade per watt, and which allows CC pack to have a power dissipation capability in excess of uh, 300 watt, whereas uh, the T247 is uh, significantly lower than 200 watt. So these are uh, tangible benefits beyond the actual performance. Also, the higher power carrying capability allow the highest uh, power density within our device. Now our devices are normally off and it's a tooled isolation, but uh, the package devices only has got a uh, source drain and gate. So you don't need to worry about what is inside and it has got a perfect first and third quadrant performance. So just to summarize, no special uh, driver is required. Uh, we have got a very high four volt threshold so uh, the device is fully on uh, beyond a six seven volt and the device also has got a robust plus minus 20 volt maximum gate rating which allow uh, the uh, robust performance uh, in a noisy environment where uh, the automotive segment is required and also in the high voltage industrial applications the low voltage silicon has got a very uh, is very fast. It has got a low QG and very low QRR. And one of the big advantage of our offering is that the silicon fat, we have got this in-house design. We are already a, have got this uh, supplying to the automotive market. This is a very high performance hybrid device, a low RDSO, no Miller Plateau and the fast switching and the diet free bridge. So there are uh, multiple products. Uh, uh, upcoming and uh, the uh, bottom side cooling on the left hand side again 039650NBB and the top side cooling again 039650NTB. So the VDS is about 650 volt and uh, threshold voltage 4 volt RDS on max is 39 milliohm and the RDS on typical 30 milliohm. TJ max 175 degrees C and VGS plus minus 20 volt. 
So these products will be re uh, released in ACQ 101 qualification. And uh, initially it will be JEDEC qualified followed by the ACQ 101 in first uh, Q1 2021. So looking into the industry uh, with increased efficiency, we can see that this products brings uh, in excess of 99% efficiency. And when we looked into uh, a four kilowatt temple PFC configuration, we know that the 80 plus uh, is industrial grade products and the gallium nitride power technology offers right at the end of the the highest end of the performance which is the 80 plus titanium the 80 plus titanium requires a 90 percent efficiency at 10 percent low 92 percent and power factor at 0 0.95 at 20 percent load and 94 percent efficiency at 50 percent load and 90 percent efficiency at 100 percent load and this all these uh, stringent Requirement is met by this power gain technology. That's which is a dream for the designers. So where does it go? Server, storage, telecom power. They're providing the high efficiency, high power density required for the high-end power supplies, which, as I mentioned, is the 80 plus titanium rated power supply unit. Battery storage, uninterrupted power supplies, inverters, and the server drives in all areas, it offer the high-end performance. Just at the bottom right hand corner, uh, the our bottom side and the top side cool part. And also we have got uh, the 2247 if you are uh, still would like to use the traditional uh, leaded package. So we have done the uh, testing of our devices, which currently we are sampling. So the uh, samples are available along with the data sheet. The test results uh, we have done on the half bridge a demo board and we have got with the uh, top side cool part which is the GAN 039650NTB uh, which is about 33 milliohm and the uh, top side cooling which can take efficiently all the heat of the power dissipated within the device and this is a configuration where we used a 400 volt input and 230 volt output at 100 kilohertz and with an MDA temperature of 23.1 degrees C and it offers in excess of 99 percent at, uh, at around 3 kilowatt uh, and it also offers uh, in excess of 98 percent around 6.5 kilowatt which is significantly higher than the bottom side cool or the uh, TU247. Not only that it brings a very high end efficiency, it also uh, switches uh, very smoothly. As you can see, very fast switching rise, with, even with a very high DIDT and DVDT. Uh, the, on the left hand side, you can see the spike and the overshoot and the ringing is virtually non-existent. Uh, both on the uh, turn off and the turn on and it gives a significant advantage for the uh, noise and the QRR related uh, silicon fat problems that doesn't exist here even though it's offering a very fast switching performance. So we have got a few um, eval boards, a 3.5 kilowatt um, eval board which currently is using uh, TO packages. And one of the advantages of choosing the gate drive for our uh, devices is that you only need a 0 to 12 volt. You don't need any negative gate driving um, around uh, 20 to 30 or you can go down to 15 as well, uh, which is helpful if you would like to contain uh, the d fast DIDT, which is fundamental within the device. And that helps you lowering the switching losses as you continuously increase uh, increase the frequencies. The uh, common mode uh, transient immunity rating for the gate drive is quite important. Uh, in, ge in general, the standard drivers work fine. And then Xperia uses the isolated grade drivers in our demo boards, uh, which is the Silicon Labs uh, SI823 series. We also have got uh, the 4 kilowatt PFC totem pole design, and that also offers efficiency uh, in excess of 99%. 
and we also did uh, conducted uh, emissions uh, EMI and it actually shows a better performance than the uh, silicon and we have got uh, dedicated Ganfert's area in our website uh, thenextperia.com there are many uh, quick learning videos uh, about uh, these uh, new technology and multiple marketing and technical on-demand videos so these are all available within the uh, website thank you for listening thank you